So that's what's up, it's Mama Zay here with some more gaming news type bullshit. So apparently Microsoft doesn't want us to own our games. Now whatever do I fucking mean? So apparently a GameSpot that a fucking GameSpot article titled Microsoft Developing Xbox Games Streaming Service. Now this is alleged to be a rumor, but it's uh, also reported that they believe in quote we live in a mobile first and cloud first world so being able to do something like pull up uh, Xbox One or 360 game in your web browser including Google's Chrome shout out to Google Chrome is gonna be a thing and that's that's all good and well and that's I mean yeah if you can make it work with all the bells and whistles it's it's innovation I'm all, I'm all for that but I feel like this is nothing more than another step towards having the means to implement restricted DRM policy I mean think about it if you're streaming the games in the only access you have to your game is through streaming from whatever companies, whether it be Microsoft, or PlayStation, Nintendo, possibly. But I haven't heard Nintendo saying anything about this sort of thing. A uh, shout out to, Nin to Nintendo for fucking caring about the consumer. Anyway, if it's all you know in the cloud, something we have no control over. The company has control over. It. We, the consumers, have shit fuck all to say about what goes on, what comes in, what goes out of the cloud. A little bit of dramatic pause there, just that sink in. These fucks want us to be totally beholden to them in order to play our games. Our games. The shit that you worked, some fucking, sh probably some, let's, let's face it, most of us, some shitty 9 to 5 bullshit. To make a couple of hundred odd dollars every uh, two weeks or so, and you, uh, after you know, surviving, you set aside a little something, you know, so you can, you know, make something for you to unwind or whatever uh, reason you play games. They want to take that from you. No. Like, these are some of the first steps of, like, no, you do not get to walk into a store, room a store bargain bin, and play a and pick out a game for, like, maybe as low as $3, take it home and pop it in. No, you're dissing that mean shit. No, you cannot fucking share your, me share your media games or otherwise between devices. No, you may not own your shit, but you can give us a couple hundred dollars for this console and you can give our fucking evil ass publishers $60. And then after that it's like, okay, okay, thanks, bye. That's, that's the relationship they want to have. They don't want to actually produce a product for us to be able to even possibly hold even on a hard drive I mean I don't really I don't really truly like attempt to promote piracy here on this channel but it's possible to crack steam games I have done so I've gotten games from steam and I couldn't you know I can't do certain stuff with them with the steam uh, without you know certain cracks and steam files that work uh, an example is uh, my borderlands i have the first borderlands all the dlc whatever but now i can't play online because games by went under so in order to get into online matches through um the the tungler uh, virtual land program or homage with friends or whatever i had to uh, implement this crack because for some reason while i was loading it through steam it just never fucking worked and you know, for it to work with Tongo, you need these certain updates and all that stuff that are, you know, essentially cracks, right? 
they don't even want you to be able to do that. And I don't even know how this is even acceptable. I mean, there's there's a lot of issues in gaming right now, but I, I feel like this is one of the biggest ones. I mean, I, 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 I see the whole death of the physical media that's that's on the horizon but i i don't feel like people should be as excited as they seem to be should probably a little be a little bit more scared because at the end of the day where they produce games movies computers cars whatever these are all companies corporations profit maximizing institutions they're not our friends they're not looking for our best interests. They want our money, and that's it. Our jobs as a consumer is to attempt to find the best product for the money. But everyone's not even tend to even offering a product, offering some goofy streaming service that you have to probably gonna have to subscribe to consistently paying them then we're all uh, essentially getting fucking filched and there would be nothing that we can do about it but that's all I've really got to say on the topic so please remember to comment your thoughts what do you think do you, am I am I just I don't know I'm I'm fucking 19 but I feel like an old fuck saying this shit I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm just fighting progress. Maybe it's not going to be that bad. I don't know. But let me know what you think. Please remember to rate as you see fit and subscribe if you're new. It's Mama Safe for those gaming guys. Signing off.